Hello, everyone. My name is Américo Cunha. I'm from Rio de Janeiro State University, and I will talk about the cross-entropy method for optimization of energy harvest systems. I believe many of you know the concept of energy harvesting. You wanted to use energy, which is available for free in, a, in an environment, to power some kind of uh, devices used in many different kind of applications, especially sensors and small electronics. Uh, this is especially useful for the 4.0 industry, where the number of sensors uh, which are necessary for all kind of applications is enormous, and uh, all of them need autonomous supply of energy, okay? Uh, energy harvest systems can be can use energy from the wind, from the sun, but uh, the source we are interested here in this work is vibration. We are interested in optimize vibration energy harvest systems. Okay. Uh, for this purpose, we are going to formulate an optimization problem in a typical vibration harvester, and we want to apply the cross-entropy method, a relatively novel metaheuristic method, to optimize and to show the, that this method could provide a powerful tool for this kind of, uh, of application, okay? So the system we are interested in can be seen here, okay? It is composed by a rigid base which moves according to an harmonic uh, excitation. And attached to this base in the upper part, you have a, a ferromagnetic beam, which deforms uh, uh, in consequence of the motion induced by the rigid base. And in the bottom part, you have a pair of magnets, which induce a, a magnetic field that uh, will interact with this ferromagnetic beam and generate large amplitude vibrations, okay? This is a classical vibration energy harvester, which the dynamics evolve according to this system of ordinary differential equation. We have a mechanical equation and an electrical equation, and they are coupled by these terms, okay? You have a voltage term in the mechanical equation and a velocity term in the electrical equation. But the, the quantity of interest here is the output power, not the instantaneous power, but average power in a certain interval, okay? Which is given by this integral here. Our purpose here is to maximize this, this quantity here. We want to, to design this or to discover the environmental conditions which will make this harvest to recover more energy. This is the goal, okay? But uh, before uh, we proceed, I need to make a practical consideration. You have two typical responses of this system here. One that is regular, you have an harmonic response, and another one which is irregular, okay? You have an aperiodic response here in, in this voltage. So for the purpose of practical application, this second kind of electrical signal is undesirable because you need to expend additional energy to rectify this in order to use in your application. So we're going to concentrate attention on this. And we want to ensure that the optimal configuration we're going to obtain respect this condition here of regular dynamics. How can we ensure this? We employ the zero one test for chaos, okay? Which in a nutshell is a binary classifier. You receive the, this test, receive the, a time series and give you back a classifier, which is binary. It is equal to zero for regular dynamics and one for chaotic. I will not give you the details, but this is based on an idea of uh, work with an extension of the original dynamical system instead of the original one and classify the dynamics according to the asymptotic behavior of this extended dynamics. So the optimization framework, okay, uh, we are going to denote S the objective function, which is the mean power, G the constraint, which is the zero one uh, test classifier, okay? So we want to maximize the output power respecting the constraint, the classifier be equal to zero, which corresponds to uh, regular dynamics. And, and our design vector, which will lump the variables, will be contained in a certain search in, uh, region, okay? We can rewrite this in a penalized formulation like this, which transforms the constrained problem in an unconstrained one with this novel uh, objective function, okay? But I will bring uh, 
your attention for some peculiarities of this problem. Due to the, the binary nature of the classifier, this problem is, is a discontinuous function of the design vector, okay? Because the zero one test is binary. So this, over this, this constraint function has some jumps. It jumps between zero and one all the time. So this is discontinuous, which prevents us to use gradient-based methods. So evolutionary algorithms can be used here, but uh, we don't want to, to you go to classical techniques like genetic algorithm. We prefer to test the cross entropy method uh, because it's simpler and powerful. So the idea of the cross entropy method is transform the optimization problem in a rare event estimation problem, okay? Concentrate your attention in this function here, in this very complex function, which has a global maximum here. If he, he, you draw numbers of draw x at random here, uh, perhaps you will not achieve the maximum at random, but uh, let's concentrate our attention to this region here, close to the maximum, okay? If we restrict the points to, to, the points to that region here, which produces values greater than or equal to this level gamma, this is a rare event, and all the values produced for the function when we evaluate x are, will be close to the optimum, okay? So the idea is to randomize the objective function, okay, and the constraint and the design vector so that we are going to, uh, instead of solve the optimization problem, we are going to solve an equivalent problem, which is a rare event estimation. It's to draw a value in this region here, okay? So the algorithm is very simple. We draw samples according to a given distribution. We evaluate the objective function. We define a certain elite sample set, which will be used to update the distribution, okay? Uh, with the mean of this elite sample set, we have a new estimation for the optimum. And the, and the variance, the standard deviation, give you a certain control. The smaller the standard deviation, closer you are to the optimum, okay? In some sense, this translates the distribution in the direction of the optimum and shrink it, the distribution to zero as, far, uh, uh, as closer as you are of the optimum, okay? Uh, for purpose of comparison, we have a reference solution here computed by brute force. We discretize the domain with a fine mesh in the, with the design variables, uh, the amplitude and the frequency of the external excitation, okay? And, and we evaluate by brute force the, the problem here in 600 points. And this took four hours in an i7 computer. Here you can see the, the contour plot of the objective function, the constraint, okay? You can see that this point that corresponds to the optimum, uh, it's in fact a feasible solution because it achieved the zero number for the constraint, okay, which corresponds to regular dynamics. Let's see the same problem, let's attack the same problem now by using cross entropy method, sampling the domain with 50 points, okay, and consider 10% of them to update the lead set, uh, we are going to use a truncated Gaussian distribution. The same problem took only 1,300 function evaluations, we solved this in five minutes, okay. In this video, you can see a comparison. In, in the, the red cross corresponded to the reference solution by brute force, and you can see the, 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 the metaheuristic points in blue going into the right direction in, uh, with a much smaller computational cost. Okay, you can see in this table a comparison of the of the cost. The reference solution took almost four hours, while the with cross entropy we are able to solve this problem in a few minutes with up uh, with, with speed ups of up to one hundred and twenty. But uh, if we disturb the external excitation with noise, is this algorithm still robust? The answer is yes, okay? With noise, the, the, the brute force search took four hours and our cross entropy approach took four minutes for us for, to achieve essentially the same solution. And if we increase the dimension to, instead of considering two but four uh, uh, design variables, uh, the the brute force also took four hours. We lost a little bit of performance here, but we can obtain the solution in 35 minutes. So it's a very competitive algorithm. So uh, to close, uh, we developed our optimization problem 
uh, we formulated our optimization problem uh, to maximize the, the energy recovered by a B stable vibration energy harvest system. And we successfully solved this problem with a metaheuristic called the cross entropy method. Okay. And a further direction can be parallelize the algorithm to obtain even better solutions. I acknowledge my colleagues, uh, Wellington Oliveira and Luca Gamaitoni for useful discussions about this problem. I also acknowledge the financial support of the Brazilian agents and your attention. Thank you very much.